Moving on to the next example, we have a function f of x defined as x squared minus 1, and then another function g of x defined as 5 minus 2x, and we have to determine the values for m where f of 2m is equal to g of 5m. Now, this question is fairly simple. All we have to do is we have to find expressions for f of 2m and g of 5m, make them equal to each other, and then just solve for m. So, f of 2m, we would just take this 2m and plug it in for the x in this function f of x. So, we'd have 2m squared minus 1, right? So, again, this 2m, we plugged in for this x value here. And then for the right side, we take 5m and plug it in for the x values for the function g of x. So we'd have 5 minus 2 times 5m. Again, we took this 5m and plugged it in for the x value in this function g of x. So simplifying this now, this 2m squared, we would take everything in the bracket and take it to the power of 2. So 2 squared is 4 and then m squared is just m squared minus 1 equals 5 minus 2 times 5m is negative 10m. Now bringing everything over to the left side, so we'd have 4m squared minus 1, bring the positive 5 over, that becomes negative 5, bring the negative 10m over and that becomes positive 10m and that's equal to zero. Notice how this negative one and negative five, they are like terms. So 4m squared, let's put this 10m here, negative one minus five is negative six, and that's all equal to zero. And now notice how we have a quadratic equation. So again, we can use the quadratic formula to solve for it, or we can factor it. And I think this factors smoothly, so we could take out a 2 from everything, so we'd be left with 2m squared plus 5m minus, sorry, this is minus 3, is equal to 0. And now factoring this here, this would be 2m um, minus 1 and then m plus 3 is equal to zero. You may want to go back and review factoring by decomposition to know how we got from this bracket to this bracket. It's from grade 10. So once we're here, basically when does 2m minus 1 equal zero? Well, if we were to isolate for m, we would get an m value of 1 half. And here, when does m plus 3 equal 0? Well, basically when m is equal to negative 3. So these two answers here, this m equals 1 half and m is equal to negative 3 are our final answers for this question when f of 2m is equal to g of 5m.